You're watching a video review of Stella from the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, I originally played this game on the iPhone when it came out on Apple Arcade, and I thought, yeah, this could make a good um, console game, and then here it is. Um, I would say on the iPhone, the controls were a little bit fiddly, um, you know, touching, not knowing when to touch and stuff like that. So it definitely works better with sticks and buttons. Um, you basically just have a jump and action button, that's it. Uh, it's nothing too complex. The graphics are also very simple. Um, I wouldn't say they're that much improved over the iPhone version, to be honest. Um, you know, slightly uh, crisper and, you know, you're playing it on the big screen, which is nice. So this game, you're basically just walking slash running to the right. Um, it's almost like walking simulator style, you know, there's only one direction to go and one thing that you're doing. It's just getting as far as you can to the right. Um, but you do a stop occasionally to solve a puzzle or to avoid enemies. There is no one-on-one -on -one fighting with the enemies, it's just um, actions to jump and climb and interact with switches and, you know, avoiding death, basically. Almost like a Prince of Persia kind of thing, but again, without the uh, fighting. There are lots of save points, so if you die, you're going to restart very quickly and you're not going to go back very far. There are some parts where it's a little bit unclear where to go next, and, and I'm talking about in terms of like, where is the background, where is the foreground, because um, you are jumping into the background sometimes and it's not quite clear. And, uh, but most of the time you're just jumping across gaps as you run, 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 run. Um, you do, like I said, you do have to sometimes do other actions like jump into the background or kind of do kind of almost wall jump style maneuvers. Um, on that note, there are parts where you need pixel perfect timing or jumping and these parts can be quite frustrating. Um, the animations are a little bit kind of slow and you, Almost from this game, you expect it to be like an art house style, you know, game. You know, like I said, like a walking simulator style game, but in a platform game wrapper. But um, yeah, asking you to do like pixel perfect jumps and pixel perfect timing, it doesn't really kind of fit with the kind of chilled atmosphere of the game. The whole game can be completed in just a couple of hours, um, so I would only recommend getting this on the cheap. I would say if you like something like Gris. Um, which is another kind of, you know, art house style, you know, walking uh, kind of platform game. I would say you would like this, um, but there's probably a little bit more um, difficulty involved with this game. Yeah, so I'd give it 5 out of 10. I was James from the Famicast, and you can hear me on our podcast, the Famicast, available on iTunes and Google Play Store, all, all that good stuff. And we'd also appreciate if you subscribe to this channel. Peace out.